Hi everybody, I'm Jason. I'm Caden. I'm Jaden. I'm Eli. And we are the Yahoo and the Torah channel and... We are so glad you are joining us and learning the Torah with us. This is very important for your lives and for our lives. We are here learning the commands and writing them down. So if you guys want to learn the commands, we are doing that. Yes, and so thank you guys. We have a lot of you out there that we consider our family. And in fact, everybody's our family. Everybody's our neighbor. And we are supposed to love our neighbor as ourselves. And so we truly love all of you out there. And we thank you guys for spending this precious moments of your time and day with us. Now, I have a quick question for you guys. Jaden, what is the will of God? Our will of God is what he wants done. I would say following his Torah is doing his will. So, Eli, what is the what are some characteristics of our creator, of Yahuwah? Um, he's merciful. He, he is angry if you do not obey what he has told us to do. What does that mean? What word what, what to describe that? Um, well, the thing he told us to do is to follow his Torah. So if right, we, We're describing if, what Yah is. Yah is merciful. He's patient. He is loving. He's kind. But he's also just. He's also righteous. He is also correct and truthful. He is honest. He's also jealous when you stray away. He gets very jealous. Right. And so what does free will allow us to do? Free will allows us to do as we want. But is that really what we should do? Should we do as we want? What are some of the, what are some of the most fun commands that you know, Jade? Uh, I would say the feast days. Doing, doing the whole celebration and recital of the feast, like Passover and Sukkot, staying in a tent or a booth. You're like uh, getting dressed up and putting sandals on and stuff yeah, I mean, and eating, the, your, eat, eating your eat, lamb in eat, haste. Eating lamb or like hang, uh, blowing the trumpet on a certain day. Right, the day of trumpets, something like that. Okay, so we are in this exactly 49 commandments. And so I'm not going to go over them, but we're going to flip to the bottom of them and we're going to begin our reading. We're going to go over just a couple real quick. Yeah, so we're at 49, and um, did we change that one the other day, Nicole? Yes. Yes, okay, that is good. So we get we had one about uh, a second Shabbat, and we put that under the main Shabbat and added it as a subcommand. Okay, so what book are we in, gentlemen? Exodus. And what chapter are we in? 26. 26, and so here we are. Okay, so this is Exodus 26. Moreover, you shall make... Okay, before we begin, sorry, everybody. Where are we at? What are we doing right now okay. in this particular moment? We've gone through Genesis. We, If you guys have caught up with us, if not, we've been through Genesis, basically the story of creation, the flood, the giants, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the 12 tribes, and then we're here and with Moses where he leads the people out of, Yishar, out of Egypt and he's working them onto Yasharel. And now they are at a mountain. They're at the mount, and they are learning what they need to do. They're learning the Torah and Moses is getting instructions on building things. Right now, we built, we just finished in the last chapter building the uh, the instructions for building the Ark of the Covenant, and now we are working on building the temple. Right, and so we had described last chapter what, Eli? Um, it's like building. Uh, we, a menorah. We, 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 we did menorah. part of the menorah. We had some of the dishes, the spoons. We had the tables, some of the inside, the the inside decoration, the tables, and the... So the right now, if, if we can make this clear, what he's describing, or what he just described, is a box with a lid. On the lid had two archangels, and their wings were covering the top. They basically, the whole top of it was covered. And so, um, we had one on the last, um, let's see right here. We'll just go to it on the fly. And we had it somewhere, I have no idea where it's at. It's it. oh, it scroll up, yeah, scroll up. There it is, uh, right here. Okay, so something like this, and so um, I don't know about the dudes like that with that look like that. Honestly, that looks that's a little fimmy to me. One, that's one, and they're like dudes in dresses. They're, they're supposed to be like. Uh, <laughs> What's going on with this picture? They're supposed to be like. Who did this? They're like? supposed to be. They're supposed to be <laughs> Yisraelites. They're not even like in the garb of Levites or anything. They're just like some dudes, some scrubs or something. Why does a dude have a? Is that a kilt or a dress? All right. Anyway, kilt. sorry guys. Let's go. Kilt. <laughs> We got a guy with this donkey. We didn't notice this. Anyway, this is what we were focusing on. Um, and the the archangels are at the top. You have their wings right there. And then you have two, the, the poles. There's holes right there. And but this guy's like touching the ark. Yeah, no, this is, I don't He's even dead. know where he like got this. Jaden, please. <laughs> when we touch the ark, you die. Did you, what did you say he was? He's dead. Oh, I didn't know you said that. I thought you said something else. 
Um, because the guy in the, the dress, I thought you said he was like, you know, it's uh, Pride Month. No, 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 he's dead for touching oh, the arc. Oh, I thought you said yeah, if, you okay. if you touch the arc, you're dead. Why, That's why you have the poles. Like, Jaden, why would you say that? Okay, sorry, so we're figuring this out. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, I, I don't know how to say this, but, I mean, Babylon has totally gone to the way of Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, I saw a clip today, and they are literally, the men are without clothes, dancing down the roads in every city. That's too much. It's just too much. I don't even know what to say. And this is why we absolutely need... That we passed Sodom at this point. Yeah, we passed Sodom. So g get ready for judgment, everybody. We're uh, we're on our way. Anyway, back to where we are at. Um, I don't know if this was what the bottom of it actually looked like, but these are the holes in the side. These guys are not... This is not Levites. I don't even know where this picture came from. And um, I don't know about the dude in the dress. So let's get back to reading. And so we also have... <laughs> um, we also have what? We have the menorah, and somebody asked right. us about a knop. And so the knop is, um, I don't have a picture of that. I'm going to try to find that. But it is like a piece of a, it looks like a flower going up the menorah. Why is everyone I don't, I'm not, um, In my laughing. version, instead of knop, it says knob. So it's really confusing <laughs> I think it's like the me. blossom of the flower. It's supposed to be like a blossom on yeah, the menorah. It's supposed to be the blossom <laughs> the thing goes up. But <laughs> <laughs> Eli, you're probably going to have to leave so you don't have to redo the video. You need to stop this. Okay, let's get back into business, guys. Exodus 26. <clears throat> I can't. I've, I, I got to contain myself, guys, first. Sorry. Yes, we're in the middle of the day. We're, uh, <laughs> we break <laughs> off of work here. and we, yeah, uh, we weren't all giddy, but I think Eli might need a little shot to the arm. <laughs> Calm down. All right, there we go. Moreover, you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine twined linen and blue and purple and scarlet. With caravim of cunning work shall you make them. Okay, so the, the caravim are of cunning work, right? They're awesome looking things, right? The length of one curtain shall be eight and 20 cubits and the breadth of one curtain, four cubits. And every one of the curtains shall have one measure. The five curtains shall be coupled together one to another and other five curtains shall be coupled one to another. Do you guys have any idea what they're talking about? Uh, uh, this the is, I think it's like the curtains, like the windows of the... Uh... Right, so the, the, the temple, I think it's, it's like telling us how to build curtains over the windows, maybe. So I think the tabernacle is all like leather. Like a it's a tent. Yeah, it's a tent. Um, so the five curtains shall be coupled together one to another, and other five curtains shall be coupled one to another. They're almost, I think, almost making like a box. Um, yeah, and like you it. shall make loops of blue upon the edge of one curtain from the selvage in the coupling. All right, what did you guys say? Selvage. In the loops. In the loops. All right, so so make one curtain from the loops in the coupling, and likewise shall you make in the uttermost edge of another curtain in the coupling of the second. Sounds very confusing. I, I, I hope he had like something drawn out for him because you know, if y'all just gave this to me, it would not turn out like anything like you wanted. I hope he's like, coupling, like the PVC coupling. <laughs> I wouldn't know, dude. Break, dude I hope break he's out the PVC showing pipes. him as like, like, this is what I want to look like. He must have. He must have showed him this, or Moshe's probably like way smarter than we are. All right, 50 loops shall you make in the one curtain. And 50 loops you make in the curtain edge of the curtain that is in the coupling of the second that the loops may take hold one of another. Okay, so this is a cool number, right? So we have a 50. And what else do we have in 50s? We have the Jubilee. The, the Jubilee we have the armies in group of 50s. Ar armies that came out of, of Mitzrayam. They we were have, in 50s. We have the Shavuot, which ends up in 50. In we 50, have, yeah. So there's something about that he number likes 50. 50s. He likes 50s. He likes 7s. He likes... He's 40s, too. He likes 40s, yeah, as well. Yeah. And yes, definitely sevens. And you shall make 50 tat... I don't even know what this word is. Tackets of gold. What does your say? Clasps. Clasps of gold. Okay. So maybe tatches of gold? Um, so you're going to make 50... Why is hooks of gold? Okay. Thank you. And you shall make 50 hooks of gold and couple the curtains together with the hooks, and it shall be one tabernacle. And you shall make curtains of goat's hair to be covering upon the tabernacle. 11 curtains shall you make. It's interesting, 11. So we have 11 and 50s. Um, maybe, and Yah just has this stuff like completely all, like this is how you make this. The length of one curtain shall be 30 cubits and the breadth of one curtain, curtain four cubits and the 11 curtains shall be all of one measure. And you shall couple five curtains by themselves and six curtains by themselves and shall double the sixth curtain in the forefront of the tabernacle. And you shall make 50 loops on the edge of one curtain that is outmost in the coupling and 50 loops in the edge of the curtain which couples the second and you shall make 50 tatches or hooks of brass and put the hooks tatches into the loops and couple the tent together that it may be one uh, mine says join the tent together 
And I join the tent. And the remnant that remains of the curtains of the tent, the half curtain that remains, shall hang over the back side of the tabernacle. And a cubit on the one side and a cubit on the other side of that which remains in the length of the curtains of the tent, it shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle on this side and on that side to cover it. And you shall make a covering for the tent of ram skin dyed red and a covering above of antelope skins. So, you know, these people are not a, um, like, cave people, right? I mean, they are able to take skins and dye them. And I suppose we could do that, but we wouldn't be able to do it like they did it, right? Yeah, well, they, well, we would we'll, have we'll see later it. that they have specialized people that are actually specialized in building of each thing. The gold, the leather, the tapestry, all of everyone has, or there's actually certain it's people that can tapestry. make it. Is it tapestry. Know, is it tapestry or tapestry? Tapestry. Have we gone over this before? I, 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 I'm pretty sure we've had this conversation at one point in our lives. I'm it's pretty like sure it's Washington tapestry. or Washington. There's no R, it's Washington. It's, All right. I don't know what to say. And you shall make the boards for the tabernacle of Chittim wood standing up. It, acacia wood. Acacia wood. And I'm not even saying it as it says it, so I'm just being I don't nice. Understand. In case there's somebody blind listening to this, they don't have to hear vulgarity. I don't know what the word is, and I'm probably just being. Uh, juvenile but here we go 10 cubits shall be the length of a board and a cubit and a half shall be the breadth of one board 10 tenons 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 what did you say two oh tenons. i said two tenons i said 10 i think two tenons shall there be in one board set in order one another against another thus shall you make for all the boards of the tabernacle i don't know why this is really hard reading but it is and you shall make the boards for the tabernacle 20 boards on the south side southward and you shall make 40 sockets of silver under the 20 boards, two sockets under one board for his two tenons, and two sockets under another board for his two tenons. And for the second side of the tabernacle on the north side, there shall be 20 boards. And there are 40 sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board. And for the sides of the tabernacle westward, you shall make six boards. And two boards shall you make for the corners of the tabernacle, in the two sides, and they shall be coupled together beneath, and they shall be coupled together above the he head of it unto one ring. Thus shall it be for them both. They shall be for the two corners. Is anybody getting any of this? Any Anybody have, have a clue what we'd be doing? Yeah, we're like putting things I, together. We're like making the loops, and we're putting I the rods I think what we're doing like, is making a and movable. I think we're making like almost like, a, I think a floor? Or a wall or something out of wood. Like, it's, it's obviously removable. You have to be able to remove I, it. I think what you're doing Diagram is needed. a uh, mobile t a ta uh, little temple here. Little we, know, we know from pictures what the what it kind of looks like, right. right? We know that there's like a fence thing around the outside of it. And inside of it, it looked like a regular tent. At least something like music videos and things that we've seen online that, that it is. So I have no idea why this is so hard to read. Yes, I'm super sorry. This is like one of the worst readings I've done. All right. Um, are we in 24? We are. Yes. And they shall be coupled together beneath, and they shall be coupled together above the head of it unto one ring. Thus shall it be for them both. They shall be for the two corners, and they shall be eight boards and their sockets of silver, 16 sockets, two sockets under one board and two sockets under the other, another board. And you shall make bars of chitim wood, five acacia wood, five of the, for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle and five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the side of the tabernacle for the two sides westward. Okay. Um, I had the rear parts westward, so at least at the back side. Back side, okay. Mine and says for the back wall to the west. Back side of the So there's all the walls. So we're building the walls here. This would be extremely hard. Yeah, I mean, this would be, I guess we'd have to draw this out to figure this one out. Okay, and the middle bar in the east of the board shall reach from end to end, and you shall overlay the boards with gold and make their rings of gold for places for the bars, and you shall overlay the bars with gold. And you shall rear up the tabernacle according to the fashion thereof, which was showed you in the mount. Okay, so he had a diagram or was able to figure this out. Wouldn't that be a trip? Y'all, like, brings up something, you know, it'd be like some... 3D thing or some some like some yeah, amazing each virtual part reality. Built like this, built like this. This color. Do you get this Moshe? But I think Moshe is probably and had more like higher IQ gold, than we do. So when they overlay in gold, it's gonna be heavy. All those boards are gonna be huge. Yeah, that's Take gonna 20 be twenty cubits. Every person has to carry one of those boards. Sorry to them. Yeah, it's gonna be an entire tribe to move one of these things, literally. Um, and you shall make a veil of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen of cunning work with caravim shall it be made. Now, what does that mean, Karim? Why? Mine says made with Karim as well. It doesn't really define it's it. It's plural for archangels. So are there are the archangels coming down to help them make this, or maybe they make archangel on the curtain? 
uh, and you shall make a veil of blue and purple. Like a veil is like a, a scarf thing. Uh, a veil of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen of cunning work. With cherubim shall it be made. So cherubim like in... So it's like it's like, the, it's like like cool. an embroidered patch almost of like the cherubim yeah. on it. Skillfully worked with cherubim on it. So Yaz, so all of Yaz's angels are all over yeah. stuff. That's pretty cool. That is cool. So those those guys must feel pretty special. Uh, they got to hang out in Yaz's stuff. So Yaz must be really like his cherubim, right? And some of them. What are some of the details of some of them? Uh, How like many wings? Like six. six. Wings, like two that cover their feet. Like a, yeah, like two that cover their feet. Eyes. Yeah. Well, those are the four monster guys that are up there with Yaz. No, there's some marking just on the top Multiple eyes? Do yeah. they? I didn't know that. I don't remember that. Do you guys remember that? Somewhere in Enoch, I think, talks about them. That's creepy. All right. Yeah, creepy to... Probably not creepy to them. They probably look at us right. and go, wow, that's creepy. They'd they be like, two fear, eyes. They'd be like, fear not. You'd be like, oh, hello. <laughs> oh, two eyes. Those guys are scary. Okay, 31. Um, no, actually, 32. And you shall hang it upon four pillars of chittim wood overlaid with gold. Their hooks shall be of gold upon the four sockets of silver. And you shall hang up the veil under the tatches, hooks, that you may bring in thither within the veil, the ark of the testimony, and the veil shall divide unto you between the holy place and the most holy. So there's a huge place right there, right? So we don't know much about what they're actually building, but on the inside of this, this is the veil um, that has the hooks that you bring within, with, in thither within the veil of the ark of the testimony. So, I mean, it's just, we're, we're into the holy of holies here. And you shall put the mercy seat upon the ark of the testimony in the most holy place. And you shall set the table without the veil and the menorah again over against the table on the side of the tabernacle toward the south. And you shall put the table on the north side. And you shall make a hanging for the door of the tent of blue and purple and scarlet and fine twined linen wrought with needlework. And you shall make for the hanging five pillars of chittim wood and overlay them with gold and their hooks shall be of gold. And you shall cast five sockets of brass for them. Wow, that was a complete tongue full there. There's a... Uh, yes. Uh, I honestly don't know what I said, but let me read it again. Um, and you shall set the table without the veil and the menorah over against the table on the side of the tabernacle toward the south. And you shall put the table on the north side. I don't know what I said. A What's your say? Come to the come to the mic, Here, my lady. Right. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> right. yeah. And you shall set the table for the showbread outside the veil in the holy place on the north side, and the lampstand opposite the table on the south side of the tabernacle. Is That's this, why I was confused because ours, ours is opposite. Is it the same stuff? We got the it's menorah. The same thing. Okay, but it's just differently worded how they translate. The north side is the menorah. Wait, wait. Uh, menorah and the menorah over against the table on the side of the tabernacle on toward the south. Side. The south. And then See the, the north picture. The, the picture I think I saw was the menorah was like a giant menorah was on the the left of them, and then there was the veil, and on the right side, I can't remember what it was. Um, I need to find that picture, but we will figure this out, gentlemen. Are there any commandments? No. There is a what would you call this chapter? A history. Uh, history? Our no, uh, diagram blueprints. Blue, blueprints. Yeah, this is like the blueprints right here. So the blueprints minus the diagram of the blueprints. Okay, um, gentlemen, do you guys have anything else? Uh, nothing uh, to get from this other than just a lot of Yah put a lot of thought into his own temple. He put a lot of a lot of thought into where he wants his people to dwell. Yeah, this um, is probably not a first time gig on whatever he's having them build. I mean, he seems to know exactly how he wants to design. And so, it gets, again, it's just the, the, the intricate details of our creator. And I mean, the you know, where it says in the Bible that our creator knows all the count of our hair, the hair on our head, something that would be, it would be possible. There's no way you could ever figure that out. I just don't think it would be, be possible. Um, and so that means our creator completely loves us and has a, a way forward. He's designed a way forward that is, when we look at the Torah, it's not just a bunch of like laws that you are strapped to, that you're chained to, that we can't have a fun life. Guys, what fun has the Torah taken out of our life? Uh, none. I mean, if we want to be like some sort of like crazed people or something, we're like like sociopath murderers or something, and we can't murder, that's you know, not, then that's not fun. Then it's not fun, but to a sociopath, it'd probably be fun. I mean, if you're one of those criminally insane people, that would be fun. This is probably going... <laughs> I'm getting the look. Maybe that was the wrong analogy here. Anyway, what part of your life has been enhanced by the Torah? Uh, health, for sure. Definitely health. Like, 
we could be very sick, like a lot. We could be very sick with uh, swine flu, shrimp flu. <laughs> swine flu. <laughs> shrimp flu. That's what you get when you eat pig. You get the flu of the swine. Uh, you what do you get from sickness. pigs? You get like 100 diseases from like pigs. Some tapeworms and like some intestinal issues. Uh, it's like worms. Yeah, with tons of worms and bacteria. I don't think you actually call it the swine flu. That's a little close enough. <laughs> that's, that's, some other, that's some other thing they're uh, there's telling a, There's a whole bunch real. of sicknesses that come with every uh, single unclean animal. So health for one. Um, definitely what? confidence in the Bible. You have confidence in like telling people you're not going to be part of the world. You yeah. Because when, when you know the Torah, you can say confidently, say you can stand up for yourself and stand your ground and say, no, that is wrong. And you will be able to justify why these people are sinning and be able it, to say. It tells us to be a peculiar person. Eli, what does that mean to you? Into the mic, please. Um, peculiar person, probably someone who's away from the world. Yeah, so what, what does it mean to you guys? Uh, different. Yeah, you wear ZZs, right? You, no one else wears ZZs. Except the Jews. They have big, long, white ones. They have white ones, but... And that's against the Torah, by the way. No, that's blue. pretty peculiar, honestly. <laughs> it's even more peculiar. <laughs> You're <laughs> extra covenant. peculiar, just peculiar. Just yeah, no, and they, the Jews actually do not keep the Torah. They, they're completely but, screwed up. Okay, what else? What makes you a peculiar person, Jaden? Um, following the law is taking days off to celebrate the Creator, apart from when everyone else is it. I would say being 18 years old and never been on a date, that, too. that would be peculiar. Um, 18 years old, probably never uh, gone to a, a movie with a girl, any of that stuff. That's peculiar, set apart, right? I don't know how many other people. I know there's a few out there, and, and we, you know, we, we talk to a lot of you out there, but um, these boys are very sheltered, and we would not just allow them to play music or radio or anything. I mean, they don't know any of the evil that is, that is out there. And, but we come from a past where you know, they grew up with me playing, you know, Tupac and, and everything else because we weren't awake and I did not know the evils and dangers that it had to children and that we should be following this, the Torah as we are. Eli, wrap this up. What do they need to be doing? Uh, we need to stay away from the world. Like, don't be part of the world. What is the world? What do we need to do? We need to what? How do we get closer to Yah? We follow the Torah. We read the Torah. We write it on our hearts, minds, and souls in our doorposts and we, we recite it. We talk about it. We do things like we're doing right now. All right, gentlemen, let's wrap up. Thank you guys very much to our digital virtual family that's out there. Much love to everybody out there. Sylvia, we know you're sick. Uh, we will pray extra for you. And to everybody out there um, who's our family, much love. We are All out. All right, shalom. Shalom. shalom.